It's kinda weird, it's kinda crazy, but I think I like it though. She's tired than a mother, and tighter than those other suckers. I've never seen a girl shake it so hard, I think I'm about to go. Here we go, I'ma go. It's exactly what you should do. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Michelle D, your group fitness instructor and your turbo cook instructor here in Atlanta, Georgia. Now this video is my tutorial on the basic signature turbo kick moves. If you are new to turbo kick or you're just new to my class, this video will help you get a better experience and get a better workout in class. So let's just jump right into the tutorial. The first move is a twist. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand on your right lead and your ready stance position so your hands are up, guarding your face, and you're gonna jab right, cross left, jab right, and then as you bring your right arm back, you bring up the right knee into what we call a knee dig. So let's try that. Jab, cross, jab, knee, jab, cross, jab, knee. There you go, jab, cross, jab, knee. Give me one more, jab, cross, jab, knee. So let's try that. At real time, starting on the right side, we'll do eight on the right and eight on the left. Ready? In four, three, two, one. Jab, cross, jab, knee. Jab, cross, knee. There you go. Okay, four more. Last two. And your last one. Let's try that on the left. And I want you to notice how my uh, feet pivot on my toe and my heel lifts up on the leg in the back. That's gonna protect your knees and also engage more of your lower body into the exercise to give you a better workout. So let's try it on the left. In four, three, two, one. Jab, cross, and a knee. Jab, cross, knee. Hey. You are doing awesome. We got three more. Last two. Last one. Perfect. The next move is just an add on to the twist. We're gonna add a row to the end of the twist. So it looks like this. Jab, cross, row, row, row. So basically you're just rowing your arms as if you were in a rowboat or a canoe and you're rowing side to side. It engages your uh, core and gives you a great core workout in the middle of your cardio exercise in the turbo kick class. So it's a super awesome move. So let's try that half time in four, three, two, one. Jab, cross, jab, row, row, row. Jab, cross, knee, row, row. So see, it's just the basic twist, but you just add the row. Give me one more. Jab, cross, row, row, row. Let's try that on the left side. Make it even, Steven. In four, three, two, one. Jab, cross, jab, knee, knee, and a knee. Jab, cross, knee, knee, knee. Jab, cross, row, row. Tighten up your abs every time you lift your knees. Squeeze here, squeeze the abs, squeeze the glutes. And that is your twist and your twist and row. The next thing I want to show you is the double bob. We do the double bob in every single turbo kick class because it is in our warm up. So basically the double bob is borrowed from boxing. And so your feet are wide and it basically resembles the bob and weave or it's a component or it builds upon the bob and weave that you see boxers do in the ring. So this is our double bob here. And all we're gonna do is double bob to the right. So we take two steps to the right and two steps to the left. Double bob. Very basic movement. There we go. Oh. So let's try that in real time as if we were in an actual class doing the warm up. In four, Three, two, one. There we go. And you see we add a little baby squat to engage the legs and get the legs warmed up at the same time as the upper body. Last one right here. Boom. Excellent. That is your double up. The next move I want to show you is the zigzag. 
And the zigzag is basically a core uh, exercise. So it's basically an ob oblique crunch to the side. So your feet are wide and you tuck your glutes in. So you tilt your pelvis forward and you squat down just a little bit to isolate the core and you just zigzag right left. And so by spreading your feet wide in that plie squat position and tucking your glutes, you are isolating the core. So the only part of your body that's moving is the upper body, okay? So let me show you from the side. What you're doing is you're squatting down and you're tucking your glutes in. So your glutes are nice and tight. They're also getting a good workout during this exercise. So you're here and you just rotate side to side. That's it. So let's try that, feet wide. We'll start on the right, and we'll do it for 32 counts. Let's do a little workout here. In four, three, two, zigzag. Right and left, and left. Whew. Keep going. Last four right here. Four, three, two, and one. That's your zigzag. The next move I'm going to show you is the wheel. Now the wheel was borrowed from Capoeira, which is a Brazilian form of martial arts. Um, and so it's great for targeting your core and conditioning and toning and strengthening your core. And so your feet are in the exact same foot position as the zigzag and your hands are on the side of your head. And you are also squatting just a teeny tiny bit, almost as if you were going to do a cartwheel, right? And so that's where the name of the wheel came from. It's basically a shortened version of the cartwheel. So we are here and you're just going to rotate your body side to side just like you did in that zigzag, right? And so we're in that plie squat position, our knees are bent, our glutes are tucked, and we're just rotating side to side. Now listen, let me give you a tip. Uh, if you want to make this movement a little bit easier, if you want to modify, bring your hands closer in. The wider your hands are, the more intense this exercise is. So pick your level, okay? Deal? All right, let's try it in real time in four, three, two and one. Wheel right, wheel left, right and left, right and left. I like to take my arms out really, really wide to really feel the contraction in the obliques. I think anytime you can get an oblique or an ab workout without doing crunches is a plus in my book. Now, what you'll see us do in class is we'll add a tap. So we'll tap, 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 and tap. There you go. Give me a couple more. Last one right here. Four, three, two, and one. That is your wheel. Our next move is called the Jenga. And the Jenga was also borrowed from Capoeira, the Brazilian form of martial arts. And it is a defensive move where you're going to block punches and kicks that are coming towards you. So all you do is you step front right and block left. At the same time, your left leg is stepping to the back. You're on your toe on the back leg and your back heel is raised. And so you step forward, rotate the core. Step, block, step, block. So let's try that. Let's try that real time, starting on the right knee so your right foot is gonna step forward and you're gonna start with a block left, okay? And four, Three, two, and one. Step, block, step, block, block, block. Now notice how I'm rotating my core and I'm turning my entire head to look to the opposite wall, right? The side wall. Boom. One more. Give me last four, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. So the last move I want to show you that we borrowed from Capoeira is actually called the Capoeira. I will cue it in class as a reach and throw because it tells you literally what we are going to do. So all we do on a reach and throw is um, we're going to step right and reach right and throw over your left shoulder, okay? That is the Capoeira or a reach and a throw. So there's a baby step in there, reach, throw, so you step right, baby step on the left, right? Don't think about, about the mechanics of the feet so much. That will come as you get more comfortable with the move. But let's try that in half time 
on the right lead. Your feet are wide like you're on a railroad track and that puts you exactly where your body needs to be. So in four, three, two, Kapoela. Reach and throw. Reach and throw. So as you throw, you want to look at the spot on the floor behind you where you are throwing. And throw, reach, throw, reach, and throw. Let's try that on the left side, even Steven. In four, three, two, reach left. Reach and throw, reach and throw, throw. So if you know this, you feel a lot of contraction and rotation in the core. Last one, good job. So that is our focus on um, the capoeira, is to really engage the core and build up our core strength during our, the cardio sections of our turbo kick class. So that brings us to the punches and kicks section. So we do punches and kicks in every single turbo kick class. They are a staple in every class. So I want to make sure you know what the movements are and that you know the proper form and technique for them. So there are four punches. We have the jab, the cross, the hook, and the uppercut. So those are the four basic uh, punches in class. One thing that's unique about turbo kick is that we always add a step punch. So we always step before we punch. So if you're on your right lead, you're going to step right and jab left. Step, jab, step, jab. So your jab comes straight forward, straight towards your opponent's nose. Your cross on the other hand will rotate towards the opposite wall. And as you can see, my toe is lifting and my heel is raised to release the tension off of the knee. That's your cross. Our hook, step hook, step hook. So the hook, your arm is parallel to the floor. So imagine there is a bookshelf right in front of you and you're gonna slide everything off the shelf with your arm. So that is your hook. And then our last punch is the uppercut. So with the uppercut, you have to go down first so you can come up, right? And it just comes, you just punch straight up towards your opponent's chin or nose. And you just repeat that on either side, right? And sometimes in class, we'll go for the chin and the nose, and we'll do a double uppercut, right? You see that in class? That's always fun to do in class. So let's try all four punches. We're gonna do 32 counts of each. We're gonna start on the right lead, so we're gonna step right and punch left, starting with the jab, going right into the cross, hook, and the uppercut. So in four, three, two, jab. Step and jab. Jab. There you go. Squatting in between every single punch. Four, three, two, step cross. Step, cross, cross, cross. Pivoting on the toe, raising the heel. Eight more. Here's your last four. Four, three, to right into our step hook, step hook, hook, still pivoting on the toe and raising the heel. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, rotating the core, squeezing the abs. Three, two, right to our uppercut, cut, cut. So I will cue this in class the first time as a step uppercut. And then I shorten it. Sometimes I'll say a step up, sometimes I say step cut, sometimes I just say cut, right? But this is your basic movement. Four, three, two, and one. Boom. So what I want to do is I want to uh, show you how we include the punches in our warm-up, okay? So what we do, of course, is we start with the double bob and we start with the jab cross, hook, and the uppercut. So let's try that in half time, starting with the double bob, right knee. In four, three, two, one. One, two, three, jab. Jab, one, two, three. So in that fourth step, you jab at the same time. Give me one more step. Let's change this to a cross. We're gonna go straight for that right wall. Boom, boom, cross, 
couple more. Hey, you got it. I'm gonna take it on that toe. Let's take it to a hook. 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 Step twice. Hook. Little baby two step, and then your punch. Here's our uppercut. Uppercut. Baby squat here. Cut. Step two. Cut. Step two. So you see, we stay true to our step first, and then we punch. Okay, gang, that brings us to the very last section of our tutorial, and that is the kicking section. So we have four basic kicks. We have the front push kick. We have a side push kick. We have a roundhouse, boom, striking with the shoelaces, and then we have the back push kick. So let me go over the form and mechanics of our kicks. So a front push kick, you're basically gonna step on the right, on the right knees, you're gonna always step on the right foot, and you're always gonna kick left, okay? So you step right, you chamber the knee, and then you push forward with leading through the heel of your foot. So step and push, step, and push. So that is what it means when we say a front push kick is that you're pushing through the heel of your foot. And then with the side push kick, it's the exact same thing, except you're angling your kick towards the side. So think of a donkey kick where you're kicking someone with the heel of your foot. That's what your push kicks look like. So think, envision that as you're executing your push kicks. The roundhouse, on the other hand, you actually strike an opponent in front of you, slightly to the side, with the front of your foot or your shoelaces. So you're gonna boom, boom. So your foot is facing slightly downward, but it's facing the front of the room, right? Because you're gonna push or kick an opponent in front of you away from you. Now the back push kick is just like the front push kick, but it, we, the direction is back, of course. And um, contrary to what people think, our push kicks do not go straight back like an actual donkey kick. We actually angle them out to the sides of the room. So always think about seven o'clock and five o'clock on the dial of a clock, right? On the face of a clock. That's the direction of your back push kicks. So let's try all four kicks uh, in half time. Let's try it in half time. And we'll put them all together, starting with the front push kick on the right knee. In four, three, two, one. Step, kick, kick. Give me four more. Four, three, leaning through the heel. Two, last one right into our side push kick. Again, leading with the heel. So we are angling our body to the side towards either wall. Right into our round house, we're gonna strike with the shoelaces. Boom, boom, boom. A couple more. Five, six. Back into our push kick. Back and back. Seven and five. Leading with the heel. And those are your kicks. Easy peasy, right? All right, gang, those are the signature moves in Turbo Kick. Master those moves, get comfortable with those moves, and I promise you, you will have a better experience in class. You're gonna have a better workout, and you're gonna just enjoy the class overall a lot more, because you won't have to think about the movements and what's coming next. So, if you would like to practice that, Go to my playlist and do my Turbo Kick 101 workout. It's a 30 minute workout for beginners where we will basically practice all of the signature moves that you just learned in today's tutorial. All right, crew, stay fit and fabulous, and I'll see you in class.